hi dear Sagittarius a very very good afternoon to you guys this is Anjali Tarot and this is a general reading for all the Sagittarius Sun Moon Venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not present with you at the first place the second thing the rose can be reversed anytime third thing this is a reading from today till the not today it's a reading from September 1 to end of September so let's start okay I will tap into your overall energy of this month and past present and future energy then the guidance Oh, three of swords, my god, you are completely shattered, you are very very hurt, broken from inside, you are crying, this is the overall energy of this month, something is hurting you, something is hurting you a lot and you have to release, I feel like you will be on the healing spree only in this month, because something is still hurting you very very much, in the recent past we got the empress, you stood uh, like an empress and you took the power, uh, uh, power with the you, you just took the power you made the other person powerless okay i will clarify these cards and the present energy is the seven of wands protecting yourself from unwanted energies and unwanted people around you and in the end of this month is queen of cups so it's going to be a beautiful month for you if you are going to go on a healing spree and loving yourself and the guidance i will pull afterwards so let's clarify the three of swords why this is why this pain is here why you are feeling like this, why you are screaming from inside, why your heart wants to come out and cry louder. Let me clarify the three of swords. The moon, the three of wands and the two of wands. Okay, eight of cups. Somebody just walked away here. Somebody walked away leaving you miserable, leaving you uh, sinking into some kind of depression. Somebody just turned their back towards you or you turned your back towards them. And I feel like uh, you are just waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to come back or for things to resolve and for things to become normal again. But they are not happening. And that's creating lots of uh, heartbreak and heart, uh, heartache to you. Because this is this is not happening the way you want it. Hmm. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or Pisces might be over dealing in, in the past. Now, uh, in the past, uh, sorry, overall energies I told you. I'm so sorry. Now the past energies are this. So overall energy of this month is that you are going to wait for something to happen. You are waiting for someone to return to you or you are waiting for the right time to return to somebody. But that's not happening and that's creating issues for you. And that's creating a lot of heartbreak and a lot of pain in your heart. You have to release this energy. You have to heal yourself. Okay, in the past and Empress, you showed them that you are really happy without them. You don't care about them. You don't care. Uh, you don't give a fuck about the situation. You are really, really happy in your own world and you are creating your own little world okay and you're the empress of your own world so it's like you tried your best okay you tried your best to stay in your power whatever happened you are just trying your best to show them and giving the universe a signal that you are ready to let this go but are you completely ready for that let me clarify the empress eight of swords eight of cups and the star see yes you're healing you tried your best to heal the situation heal, heal yourself Although you were in some kind of mental jail and you are walking away from this mental jail, you decided I am no longer going to be in this jail again. I am no longer going to stay in this jail again. In this jail again, so I have to let this go. So you are letting this go and you are healing. You are healing uh, in the past. I am telling you about the past energy. So currently it might be a healing because it's August and I am uh, talking about September's past. So yeah, you are trying to heal. You are trying to stay in your power. You are growing. You are expanding yourself. You are. Uh, love, you are doing something that you are really uh, passionate about taking help of creative ideas and creative energies it's very beautiful energy in the past you tried your best to heal yourself to heal your energies it's good energy you walked away from mental confusion and mental tension and something that was not serving you good so you could be dealing with an Aquarius Cancer Pisces Scorpio Gemini Libra Aquarius in the past now in the current energies in the September in the current energies I do see seven of pentacles seven of wands you are trying to protect yourself as much as you can from the negative energies, from negative people, from being hurt again. You have created a shell around you. You have created a boundary around you. You have you are taking you are taking a stand for yourself. You are like no, no matter what, I am not going to let anybody else hurt me, hurt my energies. I am going to stay positive here. Let me clarify the seven of wands. So it is your Sagittarius energy in the current situation. Let me clarify the seven of wands. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands. See, from this energy of having a reconciliation with this person, you are turning this energy into self-love. You are 
having this desire of bringing this person back in your life but you are keeping it to yourself because this is becoming a very burdensome situation you are you are constantly thinking about them you are constantly thinking about the reconciliation it's leading to lots of you know pain in your heart and lots of agony and lots of miserable situation and that's why you're like i am going to drop this weight i am going to just focus on myself and i am going to protect my energy from anything or anyone that's not serving me well it's beautiful energy actually although there's a desire of reconciliation i do see that you are keeping yourself about this person about this situation that's beautiful so it is your sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio let's see in the uh, by the end of uh, september queen of cups is telling me that you are going to go within yourself heal yourself love yourself self concept is high self uh, love is high and you are going to just go on a healing spree i feel you are going to accept the truth as it is finally you are going to accept the truth as it is and you are going to heal the energies track the energies and heal resolve the pain let me clarify the queen of cups yeah nine of cups two of swords page of wands yeah see two of swords so i don't see that you will be completely out of this pain but yes mostly i feel some you are going to uh, again try you are again going to try to love somebody to offer somebody the love that you carry for them but they are going to break your heart but the good thing is that this breaking of your heart is necessary for you to understand that this is not going to work and you have to follow the energy of playfulness the the energy of a you know kid here so i feel you should start from friendship level do not force this person to be with you if they are doing it it's vice versa it's a it can, the rose can be reversed any time so if they are doing it just uh, tell them to be friend with you if you are doing it just be friends with the person try to start from the scratch try to start from the friendship level and then see where it is going don't jump into any kind of things right now or conclusion or relationship or anything don't force anybody i understand your hurt see this reading started with the three of swords and ended with the three of swords it's a very hurtful month for you but it's a part of your growth so you are going to grow with this pain okay let's clarify uh, let's uh, see what is the guidance for you september for sagis Four of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. See, yeah, Eight of Cups. See, yeah, uh, you have to walk away, honey. You have to walk away from the things that are not serving you, and it's it's like Mercury retrograde, and it's uh, very hard, but you have to do it. And you have to come out of this confusing state of mind, this conflicting state of mind. You don't have to stuck yourself on a on a specific person, on a specific energy, and you don't have to juggle. You know, you're waiting and you're juggling. Like I am losing hope. I am I'm waiting. I'm losing hope. I'm waiting. Don't do that. Don't wait for this person or this situation to improve. Instead, focus on uh, improving your life, your personal life, your career, your money, your job, your physical health, your emotional health. So shift all of your focus on yourself right now instead of waiting for this person to make you happy and to come back and all do all the shit for you. Do not just wait like an idiot. Nobody is going to uh, make you happy. This is your responsibility to keep you yourself happy. I'm telling you. And once you will be happy with yourself, then you will be able to attract every fucking person on earth that wants happiness because happiness attracts happiness, not sorrow or pain. Okay so thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste